The online conference scheduled for mid-2012 will address interaction design and electronic product design and will look at educational issues associated with it as well as current research practice and practice in these areas. We aim to bring together, through a series of edited contributions online, a discussion that will focus on reflective educational practice on the use of such resources and what other people are doing in this area and these areas. With a view towards bringing together these people at an event at some time later in 2012, where we can have a forum and decide or, or, or plan a roadmap for future research directions in the areas of interaction design as well as electronic product design. The basis of the integration of both interaction and electronic product design lies in essentially in the last 10 years and the, the emphasis and the influence that interaction or human computer interaction has had on the design of modern electronic products from uh, your uh, consumer products such as your iPod and your iPhone type devices to mobile phones to digital cameras. Um, all of which have been designed primarily with the user and how the user interacts with the device. And we're seeing um, multimodal ways or different ways in which people are uh, interacting with products from touchscreen devices to um, physical switches to uh, all um, analog type um, interface controls. So we're, we're attempting to address through our development of our resources here, our learning resources here, to address those types of interactions. On the BA course, the Industrial Design and Technology course, we're using a variety uh, of open source uh, applications such as Arduino and processing to address electronic product design and interaction design respectively. Arduino, is an open, as mentioned, is an open source hardware oblique software uh, firmware package used for developing uh, electronic circuits and uh, it's widely uh, supported by a, a community of users in excess of 50,000 worldwide. The role of Flash that we have here in the school is that we teach it in a final year interaction design module for, which is for BA and BSE students. Um, in this module we go through how to create an actual interface design and we use Flash as part of this course to allow the students to produce their final output. So once they've gone through the wireframe design of their products or their interface design, we um, teach them some flash which allows them to visualize what their designs are. The nice thing about flash is because it's um, quite visual in its application, you, because our, our design students are, are, are visual as well, they can design some nice animations, some nice interactions without having to know too much coding. What we're also doing is we're porting it not just on the screens on the, on the PCs that they're working on, but we can also port it onto iPads, smartphones, or LCD screens, etc. A really interesting thing we're doing with Flash at the moment is integrating it with the Arduino platform. So this allows students to create something that uh, you don't just interface on a, on a screen, but you actually interfaces it in the real world as well. So for example, if they've got a touch screen, they might uh, move a slide on a touch screen, which could actually move something physical in the real world using servo motors, for example. Or you could have a switch in the real world, which you press, which then operates and does something on the screen. So there's a nice interaction there between Flash and the Arduino system. We're also porting it onto Android phones, which allows the students to actually use the phone, um, like tilt switches or um, motion sensors, etc., to actually adjust something on the screen. So you've got a little bit of feedback going backwards and forwards. So it's not all just screen-based applications. We're trying to push it a little bit further. My name's Tom Pritchard. I got asked by the research group to enter based on my previous experience that I gained from my third year at Loughborough University. My final year project was uh, to create a tactile user interface to help children learn digital music production at schools. It was uh, a, a immersive and intuitive interface that allowed children to uh, connect a lot more with the music software that's used in classrooms. The actual product uh, involved a surface which uh, shapes were pushed uh, along. Uh, there were three different input methods uh, gained from the shapes. 
uh, from uh, moving the shape in the XY axis, also rotational movement of the shape, and the actual shape type itself. So the uh, basis of the project was Arduino, and these, uh, the Arduino module had to take in three different input methods um, that it sensed from the shapes moving around on the surface. The uh, project, uh, main project that is the basis of it was the Monome project uh, and its Arduino uh, sister, uh, the Arduino. Uh, this was all open source code, all open source uh, hardware, uh, and it was very easy to um, get help from the online community in creating this project. But the future in the development of it is to um, finalize the actual interface, um, strengthen up the, uh, electronic compo the electronic systems, um, and to develop the code further so it is a, sm a smoother interface for its users. And further to the work that we have been doing uh, so far, ongoing work is focusing currently on using um, iOS 4 and iOS 5, which will be coming out in September, to support work that we're doing on iPad iPod and iPhone development, where we're looking at uh, creating applications which will interface between these devices and peripherals uh, and computers. We're doing further work on uh, using Arduino and integrating it with Android uh, enabled phones and devices, which will enable us to uh, uh, connect um, peripherals and uh, control devices and products using uh, Android enabled phones and such uh, devices. And primarily for our, our BSC in product design, we're going to focus a lot on still using microchip based products. We'll be migrating this September to using a more advanced uh, development toolkit for microchip uh, PIC programming. We would particularly uh, like to invite contributions from uh, practitioners, educators, um, consumers in the area of um, electronic and interaction uh, design with a view towards uh, set, um, setting an agenda for future directions in this area from a research point of view and from a practice-based perspective, which will impinge upon uh, how we teach our future uh, graduates or future designers and inform our curriculum here at Loughborough University.